up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest. We got our NBA champ, you know, three point specialist, lockdown defender, too. Um, we, got, <laughs> we got Bobby Porters with us. Bobby, what's up, man? Man, I'm good, man. Appreciate y'all for having me on. Yeah, of course, of course. So, yeah, let's jump right in. So, um, you know, CB is all about giving back and, you know, serving the community. So, you know, what made you want to start your own foundation? Um, so growing up, uh, you know, I used to always hear guys with foundations and, you know, what it does for other people, um, you know, the giving back aspect, uh, putting smiles on kids and, you know, other families, uh, you know, um, faces is, you know, what makes it, you know, that much good. But, you know, with me, I had a single mom growing up, mm -hmm. uh, you know, she had, um, you know, four little boys that she worked as hard as she could to provide for them. Um, never complain. Um, you know, she just always took the punches wherever it came with, you know, the everyday lifestyle. So um, having a single mom like that and uh, being able to use my platform to help other single moms now is which, um, you know, what what really inspired me for sure. Absolutely. And our household is so important, man, especially growing up. And your mom, mom's is everything for me. Absolutely, man. You know, shoot, you know, you only get one mom, man. You know, for my mom to, um, be able to, you know, work as hard as she can to provide for me, um, you know, have food on the table and things like that. Then I always had the things that I wanted, yep. the things that I needed. Um, I always had those, all these sorts right. of things. So, um, you know, she played both roles in my life, um, you know, played the father role and the mother role. And um, she she raised me in the right way. Perfect. Amazing. So with your foundation, what are like, you know, some of the, biggest issues you see or like some roadblocks that you've been encountering? Um, with mine, man, just, uh, you know, sometimes in life, man, people just need just a little help. Right. And, um, you know, sometimes in life, you know, it could be ego, it could be a situation that you're in or wherever it is. Um, it can kind of, you know, deter you from, you know, wanting to ask for help. You know, sometimes, um, you know, people get, um, in the situation they are, you know, uh, sometimes they get kind of um, in a box and they get, and, you know, they're afraid to, to want help. But now I've, um, I've realized as I've gotten older that, you know, it's kind of cool, um, you know, to see people, um, you know, reaching out, um, you know, giving back and, um, you know, just putting smiles on people's faces, man. Um, you know, my foundation um, has been going since 2019 now. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been cool to see the evolution of it. Definitely, definitely. So switching up to basketball real quick, talk to us about that, the, the journey of just like coming where you come from and making it into the league. Cause you know, it's only like what, um, 350 jobs? 450. 450, there you go. Yeah, but nowadays, man, it's a lot of 10 days out there. So now yeah. it's like, like 500 now, man. <laughs> so, you know, we all, we all blessed and fortunate, man, for sure. but. Um, just the journey of, you know, just life in general, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Most guys that uh, make it to the NBA, uh, most of the time, uh, you know, those guys, you know, backgrounds, you know, those guys come from nothing. Right. And um, when they make it to that point, um, you know, they was able to uh, block out all the outside noise, um, really lock in and, um, you know, just try to grasp their, their future. And um, the journey to get to this point, man, is – it's been everything, um, yeah. the highs and lows that come with, you know, winning and losing, um, the the blood, sweat, and tears that you put into the game each and every day. Uh, you know, basketball is just a small portion in, of what, you know, is the game is all about, man. The sacrifice that you make on a daily basis, man. I'm with my teammates and things like that more than my mom and, yeah. you know, all my family members and things like that. So. Um, being able to, you know, be away from them from an extended period of time, um, being able to sacrifice um, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, it's, it's fun. But being able to be here in this moment, to be an NBA champion, to, you know, playing the NBA, man, that's yeah. everybody's, you know, lifelong dreams and aspirations. So um, I'm blessed for sure, man. And yeah, that's the beauty in it because, you know, coming from, you know, where you, you and I come from, right, and then being in that position now, it's a – you know, as a kid growing up, you kind of see like, damn, I wish yeah. I was 
this and, and, and all my life and this. And now you get to yeah. that point where with the foundation, you're able to, you know, be the change you wanted to see or wanted to experience as a kid and, you know, give back, you know. Absolutely. And it's cool, bro, to, you know, be able to grow up as a kid, play NBA 2K, play with all your favorite players, play mm-hmm. against the Lakers on the game and Celtics and see all these arenas on a video game. And then to actually make it real life and be there in those arenas, right. like so I played right. in the Staples, I played in the Staples Center before, before it's not named the Staples Center mm-hmm. anymore. I got a chance to, you know, live out that dream as well. So being able to go to all these different cities, arenas, um, you know, see your idols become rivals and all yeah. these things like that, um, you know, that's the part of basketball and you know, just a part of the game that that you can't put a tab on. For sure. And lastly, uh, what can we expect from you in this, you know, 2022 when it comes to the charity and yourself as a, you know, individual and a ball player in the league? I know with me, man, I just want to, you know, just be 1% better each and every day as a you know, human being, as a basketball player, just as a man on a day-to-day basis. Uh, I've seen myself grow up from when I was 20, starting out in NBA to I'm about to be 27 next month. So mm-hmm. um, I've seen myself grow up tremendously. And it's just cool to see, you know, it's to grow from yourself on a day-to-day basis. Um, you know, off the court, you know, with my foundation, uh, I wanted to I wanted to just continue to inspire others, um, you know, change people's lives, um, put smiles on kids' faces. Yep. Um, and just, you know, you know, my, my biggest thing with, you know, the whole foundation part is, um, I have a small, you know, window um, in the NBA to, you know, be an NBA player, to live out my dream. Um, you know, whether that's 12 years, 13, 14, 15 years, you know, LeBron's probably mm-hmm. going to play for 25 <laughs> years. So, you know, we all can't be LeBron James. So, right. for me, um, just trying to play the game as long as I can, stay as healthy as I can. But, you know, along the way, if I can just inspire a couple kids along the way, to help change their avenues to one day be in my shoes and be from Arkansas and to hold that platform up to give back to others as well, to help inspire the next generation after them, then um, I feel like I did my job. Absolutely. That's the goal, right? Yes, sir. All right, cool. That's a wrap, man. Uh, Bobby, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, talk with us, you know, JD Sports and Finish Line, of course. Pay it forward. And we'll make a donation to your foundation. And I know the money's going to go to great use, you know. Appreciate you, man, for sure, for sure. Appreciate, I appreciate you guys for having me on, man. It's been a blast. And, uh, man, go Bucks, man. Trying to go back to back. Back to back. Yes, sir. Make it happen. <laughs> cool. Appreciate you, Bobby. Love, Brody.